Greetings, gemstones, and welcome to Gamer Q&A Part 2, where I'm going to be answering questions 11 through 20 so you can get to know me as a gamer a little bit more. But before I start, I will show you my hidden gem shirt. Again, thank you to the missus. I love you so much for doing this for me. And now, let's get started. Question 11 asks, what game did you last complete? And that would be Mega Man Legends. Guys, I finally beat it after playing it uh, the second time around. And I gotta say, I actually have some mixed reviews on it. Um, the story wasn't as engaging this time around, the more I paid attention to it, as it was when I first played it back in the day in my early 20s. It did have a lot of questions that were not answered. And I keep hearing that that's gonna be answered in Mega Man Legends 2, so I'd love to play that one. Uh, but first, I'd love to give you a review on Mega Man Legends. Mega Man Legends by Capcom is a very odd game. It's slow to start with a more interesting mid-game and now I think I like the post game more than the central narrative itself. It basically made me want to 100% the game, you know, and I would achieve a platinum if the game came out nowadays and had that kind of thing. Although the graphics may not be spectacular and the sound is less than should be expected, the game more than makes up for its shortcomings by being undeniably addictive and fun to play. I can say that it's nice to know that Capcom had pulled off such a well-turned base game and something that's not very familiar. Honestly, I really enjoyed Mega Man Legends. Um, again, like I said, uh, what's really different this time around was that I actually completed it 100%. And I didn't know that there were so many things that I missed out on. There were so many more mini games. Uh, in fact, I didn't know that a lot of the mini games the first time around. I just kind of played the game through and didn't complete anything 100% at all. I just wanted to play the game to beat it to say that I experienced it. This time it was actually more fun gameplay wise because I got to explore everything that I didn't really get to explore before. I maxed out my energy for the first time in this one. I maxed out my energy canteen to refill my life. Um, I found all the items in the little uh, special menu. I bought all the buster parts that you had to put together to uh, improve the actual look of your beam uh, when you were shooting at your normal cannon, which is kind of neat. Uh, all in all, I enjoyed uh, finishing it 100%. And I, I beat it uh, a little over 20 hours this time around, completing it at 100%. So still it was a short game, even 100%ing it. And I know I've said 100%ing it multiple times, I'm sorry about that. But I just enjoyed actually completing the game fully for once. And it's been a long time. It was, I was in my teens last time I did that. And you know, being an old man doing that, it was a really fun accomplishment. <sighs> Horrible whistle on I'm sorry. So to answer the question, what game did you last complete? Uh, Mega Man Legends. Question 12. What game are you playing right now? Well, actually, that's a three-part answer because I'm playing three games right now. That's right, three games right now. And they're all meaningful to me. The first game that I'm playing is... Detroit Become Human on the PS4, and I'm playing that one with my wife right now. Now, she's not very much of an avid gamer, not as much as I am at least, but she still loves to play games. And with our schedules always conflicting and not always having time to spend together, we try to do what we can for those special moments. And the fact that she's willing to actually play this game with me and we both get to experience this game for the first time because neither one of us have played the game is really awesome. 
Uh, she actually likes how the story is going and the graphics look amazing on the game. We, I like the actual controls using the joysticks and everything else. She's not always a fan. She might mess up a few times here and there. I have, which I have too, so I can't put that on her all. But I still like it using, because I like using my controls for everything. Um, but it's really fun to be able to play that game with my wife. I really enjoy it. The second game that I'm playing is actually The Land Before Time, The Big Water Adventure on PlayStation 1 or on my PlayStation Classic, which I put quite a few kid-friendly games on my PlayStation Classic so that way my daughter and I can play games and I can kind of get her into playing games, kind of coax her into it, so to speak. I know, right? Um, but I'll actually play the game and I have a, a analog controller plugged into it, which I will discuss in another later video. But I'll plug my analog controller into it and then she'll get a PlayStation Classic controller and she'll pretend to play with me and every time I do something, uh, I'll congratulate her. I'll be like, yeah, you got the tree star. Hooray, you beat the level. Good job. You won the race. That's my, you know. So add a boy or add a girl. And um, the most recent one we did actually, we uh, I was playing the game with her and she pulled out the second controller but then she pulled the third kitchen seat into the living room. So all three kitchen chairs were in the living room. And she put her baby doll on the third seat and the second PlayStation Classic controller and gave it to her. And that was super cute. I really enjoyed that. But every time I congratulated my little one, she congratulated her toy doll. So that was super awesome. And a third game that I'm playing for myself is actually Thousand Arms, also on my PlayStation Classic. But the reason why I'm playing Thousand Arms is because it's a two disc game. And the mod I chose was Auto Gleam. So I haven't been able to find anything, any videos or any information on, on guaranteed ways to play multi disc games on Auto Gleam. Uh, the things that I found say, so yeah, they're just like the pre installed games like Final Fantasy VII. You just got to hit the open button as long as all the bin files or Q files are in the same folder. But still, no videos. Now, BleemSync has a video. I found one on that and I thought it might have worked the same way. But, and it probably does, but I'm not quite at that point yet to figure that out. So, what game do you, are you playing right now? Or games? That would be... Detroit Become Human on PS4, The Land Before Time, Big Water Adventure, and Thousand Arms. Question number 13. What game do you want to play next? That would probably be Oceanhorn. I used to have Oceanhorn on my phone. And it wasn't a bad game, but I've also got it for PS4. And to me, Oceanhorn is a hidden gem. Comes to Oceanhorn, I believe it does have a very captivating story. Uh, I think that the 3D graphics on PS4 are breathtaking over the Android version of it. And it's just one massive action game, like the Zelda games. It can fully feature 1080p at the full 60 FPS, which is great. Of course, my TV is only 720p, but still it's a form of high, high definition. And I really don't have too much of a problem with that. It starts out with you waking up and you find a letter from your father, your father's gone. And the only lead that you have is, I believe if I remember correctly, it was a necklace and a notebook. Um, and then you get a guide and you get to be guided by uh, this hermit uh, that lets you travel across the seas. Not a whole lot of people have really heard of it. Now here's the interesting thing. It does have a cult following, but it's not like a AAA title. So it's not something that everybody knows about. So I also want to play it because it's got that Zelda-esque gameplay style and of course I do like Zelda games as well 
The very first game I beat actually was Zelda 2 on the Nintendo. And what's also cool about that was an associate that I work with, a friend of mine, also beat that game as well. And that was his first game he ever beat on the Nintendo. So that was really cool to find out. That was really neat. Um, so I hope to finish that game soon. Um, again, and I'd like to do a review on that one. So a game I would like to play next, Oceanhorn. Question number 14. In your opinion, what is the best games console? I think that meant to be game console. And in my opinion, it's gonna be the PS2. And here are five reasons why I think it's the best. Number one is the multimedia aspect. The fact that you could play video games and DVDs on that system was amazing. Uh, that made me think, well, if you can play DVDs on it, then the games must be DVD format too. And of course, I found out that I was right on that one, so good guess for me, kudos, yay. Um, and still, that's really cool. For Xbox players, y'all know that you had to get a separate DVD unit to plug into your Xbox because the Xbox could not play DVDs. Not to harp on Microsoft, but I mean, the fact that PS2 had it built in, you know, I mean, they won that hand right there. Uh, reason two is always gonna be the memory cards to me. I always love the fact that you saved all your games on a memory card and then you can put them inside the game cases because a lot of them came in pretty large size cases. Bring that over to your friend's house if they had a PS2, plug your memory card in it, into their PS2, and then continue your story off where you left from home. Go back home, plug everything back in, play your game, and you continue from where you further uh, went from your friend's house, and that's always gonna be amazing. I always had the 128 megabyte. That's right, megabytes. And that was, a, that was a lot back then. It was really a lot back then. Um, reason number three would probably be my favorite reason, and that's gonna be the backwards compatibility. You could play PS1 games, use your PS1 memory cards, use your PS1 game controllers, as well as all the PS2 hardware. And that was insane back then. This isn't modded, this is built in. Backwards compatibility, multimedia uh, DVDs in one system. You got memory cards. Uh, reason number four would probably be the lifespan. I don't know if you guys were PS2 uh, fans or not, but 12 years is a long time to be selling a system. And the fact that they sold the last unit, made the last units, I'm sorry, December of 2012. That is insane. Not sold, but made. So people in 2013 were still buying PS2s. That is so awesome to hear. 12 years, that's insane. And reason number five, the final reason, would probably have to be the game library. You had the entire PS1 and PS2 games, but the fact that you had like Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo, the Persona games, um, Final Fantasy games, you know, the list goes on. And in my opinion alone, what's the best game console? That would have to be the PS2. Question 15. Are PC gamers really superior to console players? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, Objectively, PCs are better performing systems than consoles. Yes. Objectively. All right. But you've got PC gamers who are going to be like, oh, I just got this awesome machine. And then they may want to play a game and they're like, oh, I need to get more RAM. Or I'm going to need a new graphics card. Or worst comes to worst, a new PC. As console gamers are like, Oh man, you know, this is a little bit more affordable. I can just plug in my controller in and just 
play the game right there and uh, you know and there we go I'm good although they will need internet to download it and they will need internet if they want to do online multiplayer and that costs for console gamers um, consoles have exclusives and PCs have exclusives so the PC gamer like yeah, I want to play this, but oh no, this game is only on PS4. Or same thing with, oh yeah, my Xbox is great. Ah, oh, crap, I really want to play that game, but it's exclusive on PC only. Damn it. So it really is just personal preference of what you would prefer. I don't think that PC gamers are more superior than console players. Again, I'm thinking objectively, and I feel that PCs have better hardware, so they run better than consoles. But consoles nowadays still run very well themselves. Question 16. What's your opinion on Fortnite? Oh, okay. Um, well, you guys know that I hate Fortnite. I believe I answered that question in Q&A part one. But if you want an in-depth answer, an in-depth opinion, I should say, on Fortnite, well, here it is. Fortnite to me is kind of weird. I played it on the PS4 and it was an interesting take on Battle Royale had an easy learn, hard to master mentality, but wasn't properly balanced in my opinion. And the most odd thing is that even though I am a console gamer, I've heard of people talk about something called a KD ratio. And apparently on like uh, the Switch or on PS4, it's a 3.0. And on PCs, apparently it's less. And I can only go off of their word. Therefore, I believe from that information, I would guess that um, the best way to play Fortnite would be on a game console. So the game can play at a reasonable pace. But it's up to you to discover this game. Who knows, you might quite enjoy it, it's just not really my cup of tea. So I hope that's a more in-depth opinion a fortnight for you. 17. Have you ever watched a Twitch stream? I have actually, but it wasn't until recently. Um, I'm buddies with an upcoming YouTuber like myself named Harley Savage and his link will be in the description down below. His Twitch name is also going to be on uh, his channel uh, videos as well, and I really like it. To me, he seems kind of professional, but it's fun to watch him because I know I'm not very good at FPS, personally. Um, seriously, if I ever play any first-person shooters, I'm going to be a sniper and I'm going to be, you know, 20, 30 miles way behind just to snipe your ass. I have no reason to go near you. But I've also noticed that whenever I play uh, MMOs with people, I'm always the healer because I like to stay back. Maybe it's just me. But I enjoy Harley's uh, Twitch streams, and that's actually opened my mind to watch other people who have Twitch streams. So I would love to uh, enjoy watching more of them. That would be awesome. So shout out to Harley Savage. Uh, definitely hit him up on his channel. It's a really nice, uh, he's got some nice videos to watch there. Have you ever watched the Twitch stream that I have? Shout out to Harley. Question 18. Have you ever streamed yourself on Twitch or YouTube? No, I haven't. And I'm never going to. Because I know if I were to stream, people would get bored very, very quickly. Number one, a lot of the games I like to play are JRPGs. So 
I like to take my time with them. I'll go talk to every NPC. I'll check every nook and cranny for any kind of items or accessories that you may find. I like taking my time on those games. So streaming would probably get shut down for me probably after the first episode, to be honest with you, because people would be like, oh my God, he's been in this village for one hour. Yes, and I do that. So, question 18, have you ever streamed yourself on Twitch or YouTube? No, and it's probably never gonna happen. Sorry, gemstones. Question 19, have you ever used a walkthrough? Oh, absolutely. You know how you guys have been hearing me say I have 100% in Mega Man Legends like billions of times in this video? That's how I did it, was through a walkthrough. And I enjoy using walkthroughs because they help me get through these videos so that way I can get these reviews out really quick for you guys. Um, I'm not a big fan of using walkthroughs on my first playthrough, but I don't mind using a walkthrough on my first playthrough because when it comes to the actual story itself, I will immediately stop the walkthrough so I can experience the story and the cutscenes and the FMVs myself. So I can have those, what, wow, no, type of moments for the first time. I don't want to spoil it for myself, you know? I mean, I'm a gamer. I want to get through these games as fast as I can and play them and enjoy them, but I don't want to spoil the story for myself. I want to be surprised and upset and a little sad, you know, the first time through, right? So have you ever used a walkthrough? Yes, I have. And the final question, number 20. What's the best weapon you've ever used in a game? <laughs> oh my God, you guys are probably gonna be tired of hearing this. Uh, I promise it'll be the last time I mention it. But it is gonna be the Shining Laser in Mega Man Legends. And the reason why to me that is the best weapon is because when you spend all that money, and I mean like millions of zenny, to max that bad boy out, you can destroy the last boss in literally nine to 10 seconds. I mean like that. The weapon is so OP that you can take out the final boss like nothing. It is insane. And I love that weapon for that reason alone. Well, that and the fact that it's an actual laser, you just shoot out there, it's insane. Um, I was really shocked on how quickly I beat that game. And if you watch the cutscene, obviously like I, it is gonna take a little bit longer than that, but adding that up, yeah, I'd say I probably destroyed him in both battles in about 10 seconds. It was crazy fast, but crazy fun at the same time, because that weapon would destroy any enemy like that. So what's the best weapon you've ever used in a game? Shining laser and Mega Man Legends. And that wraps up Gamer Q&A Part 2, questions 11 through 20. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. And as always, I will see you guys in Q&A Part 3. Have yourselves a good night, Gemstones, and I will see you later. If you enjoyed everything you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see my latest video.